Hey guys, Nick here of Last Stop Reviews, here today with another Sound Review Sunday, this time over the iFrogs Ear Pollution Throwbacks. These are $30 at iFrogs website, and they come in many colors. I have the blues here, but there's I know there's orange, there's white, there's pink, and I believe there's one more color, green, that's it. But guys, I've been really fond of these, they have a nice even sound quality, it's not too heavy bass, not too heavy mid, so you really don't get a lot of distortion out of them. So I'm just going to go ahead and jump up to close-up cam and let you guys see these firsthand. Okay guys, so as I was saying, these are the iFrog Ear Pollution Throwbacks. They are $30 and come in five separate colors. Now, immediately out of the box, the first thing I noticed was the nice thick cable on this. It's... I was definitely glad to see iFrog used a thicker cable in one of those just little flim... flim... thin, flimsy cables. Because those get pinched easily, they get bad cable memory and they're just a pain most of the time. So you'll get bad connections with them and you'll have a nice pair of headphones that are useless just because the company cheaped out on the cable. Now, the second thing I really liked that iFrogs did was instead of doing the normal adjustments here and here for the headphones, they went ahead and just made rails that the ear, ear cup slides up and down on. And that's really nice because it makes it really easy to adjust once it's on your head and it has enough tension there that it's not easily just going to be moving back and forth but it's also loose enough that you can easily adjust it without having to take the headphones on and off five times to get the right fit. Now, the sound quality on these is really nice for a $30 pair of headphones. It has, nice, it has a nice frequency response across mids, highs, and lows. It can definitely kick the bass if you have the bass booster on your iPod or really whatever you're listening on these through. Uh, when I actually had these on, I just reviewed another pair of headphones that didn't have as good of a bass response and the bass booster was on at the beginning. Not realizing that, I immediately thought these were too heavy on the bass. So with good EQ, with no EQ, these can definitely do what you want. If you're looking for good bass, just boost the EQ a little bit and they can produce some really nice bass out of them. Now, as far as the just the overall design of this, the top does say ear pollution, which is really nice. The colors on the stitching match the, will match the color of the ear cups. Now, one thing I'm not so fond on with these headphones is they have a nice cable here. They've got a nice build here, but as you guys can see, let me get this. They have these really thin cables here, which if these get snagged, I can easily see them being pulled out. And your $30 pair of headphones is now pretty much gone unless you're pretty good with the soldering iron. But guys, overall, I really did like using these for $30. They definitely met my expectations. And there's really not much more I can say. Um, actually, there's one more thing I can say. I'm, these are right and left dedicated. R right's on this side, left's on this side. Now, one thing I'm, one, the reason I point that out is because I know you could just flip them around, but, well, let me say this you can, it's not going to affect too much if you just put them on the other ear. But with how many people are right-handed, I really think it's kind of odd they put the cable coming off the left side for the simple reason that if you're right-handed, chances are if you're listening to an iPod, you have your iPhone, it's going to go in your right pocket. So unless you have these flipped, the cable's going to be running across your body and it's just going to be awkward. Now, I don't know why they did that, and I know that's a really small nitpicky thing that I would change, but for a $30 pair of headphones, if that's the only thing I can honestly say I'd change about them, that's pretty good. So guys, these are the iFrog Ear Pollution throwbacks, and I honestly liked using them. I think they produce a nice sound quality, and for $30, they are definitely a nice purchase. But guys, this is Nick, Last Stop Reviews, and I will check you later.